What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise, and I am at the monthly Motorsports by Reeves gathering here in Tampa, Florida, and I stumbled across. I know some of you might say, hey, didn't you already do a 4 GT? Listen, I can't stop doing this car. I have a man crush on this car, and I am just in love with it. And every time I see it, I need to talk about it. So if you don't know anything about this car, let me give you a little history lesson. Going back to the 1960s, there was a deal that was about to be made between Henry Ford II and Enzo Ferrari. At the final hour on the final day of the final month, Enzo backed out on the deal and Henry II was pissed off and was like, we're going to beat Ferrari at their own game. And back then, what the game was, Ferrari was dominating at the 24 hours of Ma. Win after win after win after win after win. So what they did was is they constructed a car called the Ford GT40. Now, Carroll Shelby had input into this famous name going with the 427 Cobras and the GT350s and all that great stuff. Ford wound up doing it and they beat Ferrari every single year that they competed in. Four years, four wins, got the business done. It was an amazing time and to honor that whole thing, they created in 2005 the Ford GT. Now, if you look at the Ford GT, you're gonna see a lot of the same lines from that original GT40. Now, the Ford GT is not 40 inches off the ground. That's what that 40 meant. This one's a little bit taller. That's why they dropped the 40. What I do love, though, is they were able to hit the nail on the head with the styling. It's got that 21st century styling with the fog lamps. I love the uh, xenon headlights but it looks like a GT40. It really does, especially this area here. I love all the flowing lines and the way that the car finished in that Kona blue with the white racing stripes. I don't think there's anything more that screams Americana than this paint scheme on this car. Love the lower lip spoiler here. Perfect, perfect shape. And what's crazy is these cars are skyrocketing in prices. Ones with low mileage are going for over $250,000, $300,000. It originally had an MSRP of around $189,000, $200,000. So it's kind of crazy that even though the car has only been around since 2005, which is only 13 years old, they're already appreciating. Now, if you want one of these, you only have two years to go, 2005, 2006. Some things I want to point out, when it comes to the Ford GT, there are only four options. This car has all four. These wheels are one of the optional wheels. This is not the stock wheel. Optional wheel, I love the silver with the blue. I love the design of the wheel, and there's that Ford GT logo there. You can see the red calipers, cross-drilled rotors from the factory, fully ventilated. This is an 18-inch wheel. So remember, back in 2005, we weren't going 20 inch wheels yet. So 18 inch wheel looks perfect, works perfect. Let's work our way down the side here. I don't know if Tom wants to wrap around and just show you the clear lines of this car just coming back to this uh, rear scoop. Now, remember this car is a mid-engine car. It has a supercharged V8 putting out over 540 horsepower. I love the heritage lines down here with the Ford GT name. So, so far you saw two options. You saw the silver wheels, you saw the painted calipers. The other option is gonna be the full painted stripes all the way down the back, and you can't see it because of the angle. The fourth option, option is actually a Macintosh stereo system, which is inside. So this car has all four options. If you look here, Tom, show them on the roof. Now, when you open up this door, it actually cuts into the roof just like the original GT40. Very nicely done. And there she is behind the glass there, that top mounted supercharger, V8 power, screaming engine. You know, there is a new Ford GT that came out and it has the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. This though has a sound to it that's like no other. And I really, really love all the venting work that they've done on this rear compartment. And then out back, just like the original GT40, you have your center mounted exhaust. I love all the openness there to get that air out. Check out the huge diffuser. That is stock from the factory. Now, here's a little fun fact for you. Ford never officially raced the Ford GT, but there were some privateer teams worldwide that actually won ch excuse me, championships with this car. So don't be confused and think that Ford only came back to racing with the new GT. There were teams racing this GT as well. 
But anyways, if these are the types of cars you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you have not hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? I have new footage every single day, variety of cars. If you have been a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey, this family. I love how we all comment with one another, help one another out. It's a really wonderful feeling, the outreach we're getting. Check out my Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter pages, all Radies Rides original content all the time. I gotta give a huge shout out to Tom Mosher. This guy, he works out, it's like he's a machine. I just keep pumping him more with protein. That's what I give him, you know, he doesn't want anything else. So definitely wanna support Radies Rides, getting yourself a t-shirt, they're 15 bucks. Click that link on my about page, buy Bonfire, lower left-hand corner. Help me get protein for Tom because he's getting in shape for a powerlifting competition. And I'm telling you, it's going really well. So definitely want to wish him well on that. And like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.